Why Afghanistan? The trillion dollar secret beneath the mountains. For two centuries, the world's greatest powers have been both captivated and terrified by this mountainous land. We've been told it's about strategic location, and we've been told it's about the war on terror. But this isn't the whole truth. There's another truth, a $1 trillion secret hidden beneath the country's soil, a secret the Pentagon discovered. This isn't a story of gold and ancient jewels. This is a story about the vitamins of our planet. These are rare and magical elements without which none of our modern technology, from smartphones to stealth fighters, would exist. Today, we're opening that confidential treasure map and revealing five rare earth elements hidden in Afghanistan that have pulled the world into a new great game. Get ready, because the truth you're about to hear will forever change your understanding of wealth and power in the 21st century. The Great Discovery Our story began in 2004. A small team of American geologists, sent to Afghanistan under military protection, had a simple mission to help rebuild the country's industrial infrastructure. They went to the old archives of the Afghanistan Geological Survey in Kabul, archives that had been created during the Soviet occupation and had been gathering dust for decades. Among these old maps and charts, they came across data that seemed impossible, signs of vast untouched mineral reserves on a scale no one had ever imagined. This sparked a much larger, top-secret research project. In the years that followed, the United States Geological Survey used advanced reconnaissance aircraft to conduct a detailed aerial survey of all of Afghanistan's underground resources. The results, obtained in 2007, were breathtaking. Not only did they confirm massive deposits of iron, copper, and gold, but they also stumbled upon something far more strategic one of the largest deposits of rare earth elements in the entire world. These elements, which include 17 specific minerals on the periodic table, are considered the vitamins of the tech world. Tiny amounts of them can give other materials magical properties, making them vital for building the most advanced tools of the 21st century. This discovery remained quiet for several years until 2010, when an internal Pentagon memo was leaked to the New York Times. The headline of that report shook the world. America discovers vast mineral wealth in Afghanistan. The Pentagon called Afghanistan the Saudi Arabia of lithium. But the truth was far bigger than lithium. The truth lay in elements whose control meant control over the supply chain of all advanced technologies worldwide. In that moment, Afghanistan was no longer just a battlefield, but a geopolitical chessboard for 21st century resources. The main players in this game were the US and China, the country that currently holds a monopoly on nearly 90% of the production of these critical elements. The Hidden Treasure Five critical elements. One, lanthanum, the invisible eye of technology. Lanthanum is a soft, silvery metal with a magical property. When added to glass, it significantly increases the refractive index and reduces light dispersion. What does this mean? It means creating much thinner, lighter, and higher quality lenses. Every high quality photo you take with your phone's camera every clear image you see from space telescopes, and, most importantly, every image viewed through military night vision and optical equipment exists thanks to the lanthanum in their lenses. The U.S. Geological Survey identified significant lanthanum deposits in the Khan Nashin district of Helland province. Two, cerium the secret behind smooth surfaces. 
Advanced lenses are useless without a perfectly smooth, polished surface. This is where cerium comes in. Cerium oxide is the most widely used and best polishing material in the world. Your phone's touchscreen, your computer's display, and the glass of every high-quality lens are all polished with cerium powder in the final stage to remove any microscopic scratches. Cerium is also a critical catalyst in car catalytic converters to reduce air pollution, and it's used in the creation of special alloys and even in plasma screens. It's a behind-the-scenes element. You don't see it, but without it, our tech world would be cloudy and full of scratches. Three, yttrium, the key to advanced weaponry. Yttrium may not be as famous as lithium, but it plays an even more critical role in the world of advanced military technology. This element is key to manufacturing some of the most complex modern weapons. Yttrium's most important use is in powerful lasers. Yttrium aluminum garnet, YAG lasers, are a common type of solid-state laser used in the targeting systems of tanks, fighter jets, and laser rangefinders. Yttrium also significantly increases the heat and pressure resistance of aluminum and magnesium alloys, which are used in critical parts of jet engines and the bodies of supersonic aircraft. Perhaps one of the most vital applications of yttrium is in communication and radar systems. Yttrium compounds with iron have unique magnetic properties, making them ideal for building microfilters used in advanced radar systems, spy satellites, and electronic warfare systems. In short, yttrium helps stealth fighters analyze enemy signals better and hide from radar. Now, imagine a vast, untouched source of this vital element is discovered in a region not controlled by your main rival, China. This is exactly what geologists found in Afghanistan. This discovery was not just an economic opportunity, but a strategic variable in the great military chessboard of global powers. Four. Neodymium, the king of magnetism. When combined with iron and boron, neodymium creates the strongest permanent magnet known to man, the neodymium magnet. These magnets are incredibly powerful, yet lightweight, making them ideal for high-efficiency electric motors. Every modern electric vehicle, from Tesla to other brands, needs an advanced electric motor at its heart powered by these neodymium magnets. Without this element, electric cars would be much heavier, weaker, and less efficient. But its use isn't limited to cars. Every giant wind turbine built to produce clean energy uses several tons of these powerful magnets in its generator to convert the kinetic energy of the wind into electricity. Five, Prasodymium, Neodymium's powerful partner. Prasodymium is often added to neodymium magnets to increase their resistance to heat and corrosion, improving their performance in harsh conditions like a jet engine. Prasodymium alloys with magnesium are also used to create super strong and lightweight metals for the aerospace industry. These two elements, both abundant in Afghanistan's mineral reserves, are the backbone of the green revolution. Any country that wants to be a leader in clean energy and electric transport needs a stable source of these two elements. This turns Afghanistan's reserves from a simple treasure into a strategic asset in the great energy game of the 21st century. The Resource Curse a trillion-dollar treasure untapped. Despite this trillion-dollar treasure, why hasn't it been extracted yet? The answer lies in a bitter and realistic concept known as the resource curse. Having wealth is one thing. Being able to use it is entirely different. Lack of infrastructure. 
Extracting these minerals requires reliable power grids, suitable roads for heavy machinery, and access to vast water resources, three things that are virtually non-existent in the remote, mountainous regions of Afghanistan where these minerals are located. Technical and Environmental Challenges The process of extracting and purifying rare earth elements is one of the most polluting industrial processes in the world. It requires the use of strong acids and dangerous chemicals and produces large amounts of toxic and radioactive waste. Political and Security Instability No major international company is willing to make a significant investment in a country with an uncertain political future and no guaranteed security. The risk of widespread corruption, local conflicts over mine control, and sudden changes in laws would deter any major investor. Geopolitical competition, any attempt by a global power like China or the US to secure mining rights would be met with a strong reaction from rivals. Potentially turning Afghanistan into the site of a new proxy war over resources. This treasure, as much as it is an opportunity, is also a dangerous source of discord. For these reasons, this trillion-dollar wealth remains an untouchable treasure, like a dragon sleeping on its gold. It's a sad paradox. A country sitting on the key to the world's future is trapped in a lock of its past. The End Where is the real treasure? At the end of this journey, we return to the first question. What is Afghanistan's real treasure? We've talked about lanthanum and cerium, the invisible eyes of the modern world, about yttrium, the hidden secret in the heart of stealth fighters, and about neodymium, the magnet that drives the green revolution. These were just a few examples of a stunning and strategic wealth. This treasure is a double-edged sword. On one hand, it holds an unprecedented potential to build a different future, a future where Afghanistan can break free from foreign aid and become a major player in the global tech economy, a wealth that can be used to build schools, hospitals, and the infrastructure the country desperately needs. It is an opportunity for a quantum leap into the 21st century. But on the other hand, this treasure is a powerful curse, a resource curse, that could bring more war and instability instead of prosperity. History is filled with countries that suffered from internal and external conflicts due to their rich natural resources. The big question is, can Afghanistan escape this curse? The story of these rare earth elements is truly the story of Afghanistan's unwritten future. This land sits on the key to the world's technological future. The trillion dollar question is, will it ever find the opportunity and wisdom to turn that key? Or will this treasure forever remain buried as an unattainable dream and a historical regret? The answer to this question has yet to be written, and it will be written by the generations of this country today and tomorrow.